So if you are living in the northern hemisphere, you will be in the grips of autumn. <laughs> Last weekend, our clocks went back here in Edinburgh and the nights are already drawing in. It gets dark by about 4 p.m. And it really does take a lot of effort to stay lifted and energized when most of the day is dark. So I thought that today I would do something really nice. I'm gonna set the table for a lunch and I'm gonna make a lovely soup. I also wanted to tell you some very exciting news. Next week, my new website, nicholasfairford.com, is going to be launched. And I'm really excited because I've been working so hard on it. And on there, there will be a new blog, which I'll be writing every Wednesday. And also, coming soon, there'll be an e-commerce store where you'll be able to buy some really beautiful products that I've designed. So it's really exciting, and I hope that you will join me next week when it launches. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to share and subscribe. This round table doubles up as a place to display flowers and books and also as a dining table when I have guests. I'm just clearing it so I can set the table. As always, I start by anchoring each place setting with the table mat. I love these green rattan ones which give a little colour and texture. Next I have these cabbage plates, which I'm using as a charger, and for another layer of interest. I also have these bowls in the same design, and I'll be serving the soup in them today. This golden cutlery set is so handsome and robust. It sort of reminds me of tree branches as it is rough and textured. I really love pops of gold in the autumn. Next I have these gorgeous water and wine glasses by William Yoward. They add a richness to this setting with their dark tortoiseshell effect. These Royal Dalton side plates are so simple, but in my opinion, really chic. They pick up the gold of the cutlery and act as a backdrop for my napkins. These are from a recent Instagram find called Monogram Couture. They have a double N monogram and I really love them. Green always wins in my book. And now I'm adding in two pumpkins. I did want to add some leaves from the garden to the table, but after all the rain we've had here in Edinburgh, it wasn't possible. And that's it. A very simple but effective autumn table. table is set it's time to get on with the cooking and one of the things that I'm going to cook is the most delicious pumpkin soup and the reason why it's so good is because we have all these different herbs and spices which just infuse it with flavor as well as the pumpkin we also have sweet potato and regular potato and all of that just makes the most wonderful texture and thickness to the soup which is just perfect for the winter season. So yes, this is a good soup and I think you will love it. To begin, we're going to start by putting the pumpkin into a large bowl and to it, we're going to add in about half a cup of olive oil and some salt and then we're gonna roast it 
in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. So, olive oil, and then I've just got some salt, and I just love these flaky salt crystals, molden sea, sea salt. I just find it divine. So I'm just gonna get my hands in and make sure everything is nicely coated. Okay, and then into the pan, and I'm gonna roast that, as I said, for about 20 minutes in a 200 degree oven. So whilst the pumpkin is roasting, I'm gonna get on with the next step. I have two large red onions, which I finely diced, and I'm gonna add them to a medium pan with about two tablespoons of olive oil and some sherry vinegar. And I'm gonna cook them for about 20 minutes until they're soft and golden. So the onions are cooking really nicely. And while they've been doing that, I have taken quite a large pan and in there we have the sweet potato and regular potato with one litre of vegetable stock and I've also added in all of the spices so that's two tablespoons of coriander, two tablespoons of dry oregano, two tablespoons of dry thyme, one tablespoon of turmeric powder and one tablespoon of garlic powder and I'm going to let that simmer away for about 25 minutes until the potatoes are tender. So as you can see the pumpkin is cooked, the onion is ready and so are both of the potatoes. So I'm just going to put everything into this pot here, all of the onions. And the pumpkin. And now I'm going to use my hand blender to blend it all. And it does look like there's a lot, but you will get through it eventually. Just keep at it. So as you can see, the soup is fully blended. Do feel free to add in some water if it's too thick. This was really, really thick. So that's what I did. So, so our soup is almost ready. To finish off, I've got some toasted almonds and a little bit of um, non-dairy coconut yogurt. So I'm just gonna put the yogurt into there and then drizzle over the almonds, which I think will be perfect. So let's do that. So a good dollop of that. <laughs> sweetness with all of the spices will be really beautiful. Okay, and then the almonds, which just smell divine when you're toasting them on the hob, fills the house with a beautiful sweet scent and I just love almonds so it's like a dream for me. Lovely. And that's that. It's ready. So the lid will go on just for presentation purposes. As it's Halloween, autumn, we have a pumpkin and I will take this through to the table and hopefully everybody will really love it.